Today is May 1st. Start a third season. Like when Brennan went out this morning and uh, started off really awesome. Shot a really good bird this morning. Rocked Mike's decoy. And uh, they were out scouting later. And uh, seen three times on these this one field and then there's another three times on this backfield here so we're uh, hoping with the wind we were able to sneak in here nice and quiet and set up and uh, see if we can pull one of them times from either field to get a double or if not a triple so see what happens <laughs> Time's winding down here. We thought for sure we were gonna be in the tit chips because those two toms worked from over 500 yards away, walked through a swamp, worked their way all the way up to this way about 70 yards. And then a hen was coming right through our spread. We thought for sure we were definitely gonna be having some action. And then two big toms just followed a different hen and skirted us, skirted us on the side about 60, 65 yards out just didn't want to come in but that's the way she goes sometimes you win some you lose some so just got to keep at her and we'll see what happens well we're uh, pretty much at a wrap here the day has ended those uh, two times we figured they were going to be coming back that skirted us around the back. They were gobbling, gobbling. And we thought they may just ran over there to run those uh, couple other birds off the field and look like they were coming back, but uh, they didn't. They kind of stayed on that end. It looks like they're gonna go fly up to roost close up to that edge of the woods where they're standing by now. So we're gonna 
pack it in and uh, get a good night's rest and eat some good ribs from Bob that he's been cooking all day and get a good meal in us and give her tomorrow. Eee. That was probably top three meals ever ever come out of Robert's kitchen during turkey season. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. No fire alarms? No, you had to have set one off when we were Just one. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> What what's the saying be? Fire alarm ain't going off. You ain't I'm happy with them. Really excited to uh, put a wrap on a quick North Dakota season for myself. Holy smokes. That is a heck of a deer. It's Thursday morning, May 2nd. Mike and I came into a spot this morning. Um, we've hunted this property a decent amount in the past, but always on the next field over. We've never sat in this particular spot because the birds are usually in the next field over, but for whatever reason, uh, the last few days and from Robert's intel, there's been a tom hanging out in this field. We're right on the line of a hay field and cut corn here. Um, two nights ago, we drove by bird was right here. Yesterday morning after Mike killed his bird, we drove by. Bird was right here. So we figured it was as good a chance here as anywhere. So we've got birds gobbling. They're probably three, 350 down in this creek bottom. The water's really high along this creek. So we anticipate the birds wanting to stay on this side, our side of the creek and working up to these fields. We do have rain showers at the forecast. I'm hoping we get a long enough break here this morning. These birds stay uh, vocal and hopefully we can strike something up and get it going here. I still got this tag and, and Jim's got a couple tags yet this week. Hopefully we can notch one here this morning. She hasn't moved a foot yet.
and shoot him. Get him to stick his head up. It's May 2nd here today, uh, the second day of the third season in Wisconsin. Um, Mike and I just got up here for the first time all year uh, two nights ago. Did a little scouting before opening day. Uh, paid off right off the bat. Mike was able to punch his tag yesterday morning. Um, we hunted fairly hard yesterday, took a few hours off, but uh, just couldn't uh, connect on a second bird. And then uh, here this morning we came into a spot where Robert's been seeing a bird in this little cut cornfield here and we actually seen him twice in the last couple days driving by. So we kind of came in here with the mindset we're going to pop up the baronet and uh, just sit here for a while and see if he shows up. We had a couple birds roosted down here in this creek bottom which we figured were him but this one actually come from I don't know if he did a loop up around a wet spot or what. Mike kind of thinks he did a big loop. I think he came from the other woods we're not really sure but Either way, he came into our field and uh, came right down the edge. We actually had a hen behind us that we weren't able to film, but she was probably 40, 50 yards behind us, which was just set up perfect because he had to come through us to get to her. Um, he kind of put on the brakes there once he seen the decoys and uh, wasn't coming any further, so I ended up shooting him at probably 40, 45. But just a picture perfect roost hunt. Took a little while. We were in the blind for probably an hour, hour and a half. But uh, couldn't ask for a better, better morning here, especially the rain's holding off for us. It's, it's supposed to rain most of the day today, so we're going to head back and eat breakfast, throw this one on the scale, and probably take a nap. Jim's got tags yet this week. Uh, we'll probably get out with him when, uh, when he gets off work later. But great hunt here this morning in Wisconsin. I don't know, 22. I'm about 2211. Oh boy. Definitely beatable. Not that level out, because that could matter. Last year was not. 22.8. 